multi-level marketing, direct sales, network marketing, even if you're not familiar with the terms, you probably have seen it in action on social media. Industry statistics estimate 16.7 million people in the U.S. participate in multi-level marketing, nearly 143,000 of them in Montana. They act as consultants, representatives, stylists for companies like Mary Kay, Arbonne, Herbalife. In order to legally operate in Montana, the companies have to register with the state. And the reason that we register, and we've been registering multi-level marketing companies in Montana since I think it's been 1999, is to make sure that it is actually operating as a multi-level marketing company and not as a pyramid scheme. So what's the difference? Well, it boils down to compensation. Do you make most of your money from product being sold or fees from someone joining under you? If it's the latter, it could be a pyramid scheme, and those are illegal. Really what we're trying to do is protect the consumers against those ones that are not actually MLMs. They're pyramid schemes trying to pretend they're MLMs. So that's, you know, that, that's what we're trying to do. According to the commissioner's office, just recently they brought legal action against six MLMs illegally operating in Montana. Five of those cases settled, resulting in more than $20,000 in fines and nearly $10,000 in restitution. But here's the thing. The state can't protect consumers from companies they don't know about. Right now, 38 companies are registered with Downing's office. 19 of them registered during an amnesty period, which allowed non-compliant companies to register at a reduced fine. We had 19 new registrations that represent about 4,200 participants in these, uh, in these MLMs. Another 105 companies are members of the Direct Selling Association, a national trade association for the industry, and allowed to operate in Montana. But we found there are still unregistered multi-level marketing companies operating here in Montana. We reached out to the ones we found and asked why they are not registered with the state. So far, two have responded to us. We got this generic response from LimeLife, and Lou LaRoe, who we found has 15 representatives operating in Montana's big cities, told us they are working to file with the state. Others we contacted, doTERRA and Park Lane Jewelry, have not responded. They should register before they start doing business. But Downing says representatives in Montana are not the ones at fault here. His office is just trying to bring the companies into compliance and make sure they're operating by the law. We don't have an issue with multi-level marketing companies. You just have to follow the law and you have to register. You can see if the company you're working for or maybe one you're interested in joining is registered with the state. We have links to the commissioner's website and the Direct Selling Association members list on our website. In Helena, Marion Davidson, MTN News.